Hi, I'm Brendan Sauer, and in this video, we're gonna explore updating battery firmware with Link2 and Link Lite devices. To do so, you're gonna to need to network your batteries to the Link device. And if you haven't seen our video where we walk through networking the Link network, I recommend you hop over to that video and have a look first. So once the batteries are connected on network to Link and Link's connected to your computer, go ahead and open up a Link Access. And to get the battery firmware file, go to the Support tab, and select battery documentation or firmware. Now this should take you to the firmware download area for the batteries that the link detects. So here we have Discover Lithium Professional and their firmware file can be found under related resources. Now I've gone ahead and downloaded it already just to save some time. I do recommend that you save that uh, firmware file to your desktop just for easy navigation when you do need to find it. So we can go to the battery tab and we see we have three batteries connected here and they're all running version 4.0.0.0 and we will be updating to 4.1. So to do so, just select upload battery firmware, navigate to the location of the new battery firmware and hit upload. So what's going on here? Link Access is actually sending that file to Link first. Once the link has it, it'll verify that it's a real firmware file and it hasn't been corrupted. Once it's done that, it'll begin to individually transmit that file to each battery. So now link has the firmware file and we can see that it's sending it to battery one. Now this may take a few minutes per battery. You can just watch this tab as link access shows you which battery is being updated. Once the battery has the firmware file, it'll once again review that it is a correct file. Uh, there was no corruption. And once it's done that, it'll begin to install the firmware locally on the device itself. There we go. So the first battery has received the file. It's now installing it. When it does so, it'll turn off. And when the install is complete, it'll turn back on. After that's done, we can now see that Link is sending the file to the second battery. And the process will repeat itself for the entire network. It should be noted that once that firmware file has been loaded onto Link, it remains there. So if you take this Link and you move it to another battery network and those batteries need upgrading, Link will automatically update those batteries as well. So you can send the updated battery firmware file to a Link, even though it's not connected to batteries. Uh, so for example, if you need to do it at home and go to site, you could load that firmware file onto Link first and simply connect it when you arrive on site. Second battery is complete, now we're moving on to the third battery. And with that, we now see that all batteries have been updated to version 4.1. Update your battery firmware, it's as easy as that. For additional support material, head to our website, discoverbattery.com.